The study of evolutionary aesthetics is also documenting the features that make a face or body beautiful. The prized lineaments are those that signal health, vigor, and fertility. People are imaginative animals who constantly recombine events in their mind's eye. That ability is one of the engines of human intelligence, allowing us to envision new technologies, such as snaring an animal or purifying a plant extract, and new social skills, such as exchanging promises or finding common enemies. Narrative fiction engages this ability to explore hypothetical worlds, whether for edification, expanding the number of scenarios whose outcomes can be predicted, or for pleasure, vicariously experiencing love, adulation, exploration, or victory. Hence, Horace's definition of the purpose of literature, to instruct and to delight. In good works of art, these aesthetic elements are layered so that the whole is more than the sum of its parts. A good landscape painting or photograph will simultaneously evoke an inviting environment and be composed of geometric shapes with pleasing balance and contrast. A compelling story may simulate juicy gossip about desirable or powerful people, put us in an exciting time or place, tickle our language instincts with well-chosen words, and teach us something new about the entanglements of families, politics, or love. Many kinds of art are contrived to induce a build-up and release of psychological tension, mimicking other forms of pleasure and a work of art is often embedded in a social happening in which the emotions are evoked in many members of a community at the same time, which can multiply the pleasure and grant a sense of solidarity. Dissanayaki emphasizes this spiritual part of the art experience, which she calls making...